Good afternoon. This is Pastor Mike, and today's devotion is titled, The Lord is My Shepherd. You know, in a world filled with ever-changing and increasingly troubled headlines, the hope of God's comfort and sustaining care is truly an ointment for weary souls. Those who believe can rest in the gentle care of the Good Shepherd, the one who walks with them and provides for them mind, body, and soul in the present and in the days to come. I want us to listen to this familiar passage found in Psalm 23, verses 1 through 6. Listen to these words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So Psalm 23 is written by King David. Yes, a king. But he remembered his beginnings as a shepherd. In this Psalm, he recounts God's goodness, God's faithfulness, and also kindness to him throughout the days. You know, Psalm 23 is often used during times of trial and also sadness because of those who believe it can bring comfort. Now, to know the shepherd does not mean that we will live lives without hardship or grief. And this is important, but it does mean that God does not abandon us. He will sustain us. He may not provide all of our wants, but he will provide for what we need. Even when it feels like we are in want, we can trust in a good shepherd to see us through. So we have a choice, a choice whether or not to willingly become the shepherd's sheep. Will we allow ourselves to give up control and follow the wisdom of a good and caring shepherd? who can meet our every need. And this is difficult for us to do at times. Can we truthfully say the Lord is my shepherd? You know, we don't always know what life will include when we submit ourselves to God's authority. And this may be scary at times. Think of it this way. Did David know that he would be, well, be the one who would kill a giant? Did he know that he would be on the run because King Saul wanted to kill him? Did he anticipate becoming a murderer? Did he know he would fail yet be restored? Did he know that he would lose children to death and to rebellion? Of course he didn't. Yet through it all, David would remain an imperfect pillar of the faith and a man after God's own heart. Like David, we will face hardship and we will enjoy triumph. Let me say that again. Like David, we will face hardship and we will enjoy triumph. This only emphasizes really the truth of Psalm 23, that everything we are, Everything we have and everything we need is found in our Lord. Our great shepherd provides for us. He restores us. He leads us, protects us, comforts us, sustains us now and for eternity as we dwell in his love and care. We don't know what will happen but like David, we can reflect, and this is important for us to do. We can reflect and know we are in the care of the Good Shepherd. And that can give us peace. Peace.
peace to face a future that's unknown, regardless of our circumstances. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen.